Welcome to another edition of the Truth Zone. And this situation with the Trump rally shooting continues to get more and more bizarre the deeper that you look into this. This is the alleged shooter, Thomas Matthew Crooks. And surprise, surprise, he has a connection to BlackRock. This commercial, at the time that you are watching this video, was filmed a year ago, 2023. You really couldn't have scripted things any better than this. This is an obvious script being played out. Check out this commercial. I teach AP and Honors Economics in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Financial well-being to me is knowing that I can be free to do the things that I love to do. I hope when I retire someday, they say that guy made this place a special place to come to school and gave as much as he could to help the community. This whole entire thing just doesn't sit right with me. And I know it doesn't sit right with a lot of people when you begin to put the puzzle pieces together in this ongoing mystery. And every time that you peel back a layer of this onion, per se, there's more and more layers to this. And ask yourself this question. How does TMZ acquire the photo of the alleged shooter? How? How does TMZ get this image and they are able to just post it freely? Uh, no questions asked. How? TMZ seems to get a lot of uh, images. Huh. It really makes you wonder what is going on. But the fact that this guy was in a BlackRock commercial should tell everybody what is really going on here and how all of this is connected, how all of this is a PSYOP. There is no way they would ever allow anybody to get within two feet of a president. There is no way. And apparently the uh, Secret Service knew this guy was on the roof. So if they knew this, why didn't they do anything about it? It's Almost as if this is part of the show, part of the script. You are watching a movie. This is being done to create more confusion, to create more chaos, more emotions, more division than ever before. And it's also being done as a way to create more and more sympathy for Donald Trump because think about everything this man has gone through the trials that he has went through among everything else and then now he allegedly gets shot and the fact that his depiction is on the card game of the Illuminati is all that you need to know we are watching their script being played out. It's getting more and more weird. It's getting more and more strange by the day. And if there was two people actually affected by this, RIP to those individuals. But blood rituals do exist. And again, who knows if those two people were really affected or not. This could all just be part of the script again. This is all just my viewpoint. This is all just speculation. Wink, wink. And I will let you all put the rest of the puzzle pieces together. But this just seems very, very, very weird. The fact that this man was featured in a BlackRock commercial. I mean, 
Who knows what else is going to come out of all of this? Who knows what this is going to start? I can only imagine what else is to come from all of this. I can only imagine what else these people have in store. I can only imagine what else these people have planned. But you are watching a movie. This is like the WWE being played out for everybody to see. It is a script. It is an act. And it's being done to create more and more and more confusion and chaos. And it's being done so more and more people fall in line with the mega cult. Fall in line with the Trump worship. This is why all of this stuff is happening. This is all done by design. It is order out of chaos. This is what this is. People need to wake up. They need to realize exactly what is going on because there is no doubt in my mind at this point that this is a script by BlackRock and whoever else, the powers that be. Because in case you wanted to know who really runs the show, BlackRock runs the show, the WEF runs the show, and the list goes on and on and on. Bill Gates, the list goes on. So again, this is all part of the script. Are you enjoying the show? And again, if there were people actually affected by this, prayers go out to the families that were affected by this. And again... It's just getting more and more crazy by the day and everything just seems like it's reaching its boiling point. Again, who knows what else they have in store, but it's just laughable the fact that this man is basically sponsored by BlackRock. He was basically trained by BlackRock because BlackRock is one of the people really running the show, really running everything. Presidents are selected, not elected. And again, this is all my opinion, my viewpoint. This is all alleged information. Wink, wink. As always, I thank you for tuning in to yet another edition of The Truth Is On. I would ask that you would please consider hitting the like button so this video and other videos like this get into the algorithm. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel, commenting down below. Any and all engagement helps this video and other videos like this get into the algorithm so more people see the content that I put out. I thank you for your continued support. God bless each and every one of you. And as always, this is your host, Truth Seeker, signing out.